Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I thought I would talk about lead crystal. We get questions in the shop from time to time about it and you know sometimes people are concerned about the safety factor and sometimes they're just trying to figure out if the item in question is or isn't lead crystal. They're you know they're asking me if I know and so the first thing I wanted to talk about was identification because lead crystal, it, it, it seems, and it's, I guess there's a perception that it's somehow different from glass in a meaningful way, but realistically lead crystal is just glass with lead added to it in order to, um, well, what I read is that when you add lead to the crystal, it increases its refractive qualities, which means that when you cut it, like this glass here, it's shinier. So if the glass you're looking at doesn't have these sort of cuts into the design, then whether it's crystal or not isn't particularly helpful because when you have a smooth piece of glass like this, there's not a lot of reflective opp opportunity there. So initially I would say that, you know, anything that doesn't have little design cuts on it is less likely to be lead crystal because you're kind of wasting the whole point of putting the lead in the crystal. But at the end of the day, lead crystal is really just glass that someone has added lead to so that they could make the glass prettier in certain circumstances, as I said, with cutting it and adding little, uh, I mean, these aren't really cuts here on that particular piece, but they are sort of decorative touches to add reflect, reflective qualities to it. So identifying, really the only sure way to identify a piece of crystal is to get something that still has the stickers on it or it's still in the box. So that's one of the reasons I brought this one is I want to be able to show that it has the label still on it. And this uh, glass was made by Ajka, which is a, a Hungarian company that's been in business for over 100 years. So it's a pretty well-respected company. Um, another way that you could maybe, maybe tell if it's lead crystal would be if you pick it up and you touch it and the edges feel sharp, then that's more likely it was hand cut, which increases the likelihood that it could be lead crystal. But again, there is no guarantee without the sticker, without the box. So you should know going into it, if you're buying something and you're paying a premium for lead crystal, you probably should verify that in some way before you pay a premium because you think it's lead crystal. At the end of the day, you should pay what you're willing to pay because of what something looks like, the decorative value it has. Uh, if it's something specific you're looking for and you like that particular piece, pay what you think it's worth. But I wouldn't pay extra for something specifically because it's lead crystal unless the seller can assure you on some level that it is. And again, this is going to boil down to an original box or a sticker. So you can see here that uh, two of mine do have stickers. So I know these two pieces are lead crystal because they have the labels that show it. But neither one of these has particularly sharp edges to them. They're newer, they're more modern crystal. And, you know, at this point, a lot of companies are using machines for this type of thing. So generally the older pieces like this one, you can feel not sharp edges like they're gonna cut you, but they don't feel smoothed over like a machine did it. So older stuff is more likely to have that sharp edge that you could potentially use. Another thing that people like to point to, and I want to kind of dispel in identifying crystal, is that it has a beautiful ping to it or a ring that glass does not have. So I brought some plain glasses here to kind of demonstrate and show that depending on what you think you're listening for, any pretty glass, any well-made glass can have ping. That was a newer glass that I got when I got married. This is an older glass I got in an estate sale, and they all have a nice ring to them. And then let's try the crystal ones. That has a nice tone. And if you 
wanted to try to discern what you're listening for, maybe you could kind of tell the difference. But honestly, you know, there's high, medium, and low tones. I don't know if that's any meaningful signifier of anything. So as far as people telling you that ping is a good way to identify, I don't notice any meaningful difference in the amount of ping or the length of the tone on any of these four glasses there are, other than the pitch being slightly different for each one and you know the thinner glasses are obviously going to be a, a little higher but I don't think there's a meaningful way to tell based on that. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was food safety. We do get questions about food safety and I would say if you're highly concerned about food safety you probably should avoid lead crystal because the lead can leach into the foods that you put in the glass or in the decanter. I'm going to link a Wikipedia article that talks about this in more detail, but essentially the length of time that your food spends in the crystal container, be it a bottle or a glass, um, the more time that leaching has to occur. So if you're highly sensitive or you're very worried about lead, just avoid that whole issue, only buy things that you know are made of regular glass and it becomes moot, you're not going down that road. However, if you like the look of crystal and you want to be able to use it, bear in mind that duration is a significant factor and I would probably stick with just using it in a service setting. Don't store foods and drinks in lead crystal. Bring it out when you're having a dinner party use it for serving. When the dinner party is over, put it away, wash it out, take the food and drink out of the lead crystal containers and put it into something else. So it can, you know, it, it's up to you to decide how much risk you're willing to take on, but you know, in order to keep the risk minimal, you would only use lead crystal for serving purposes and you wouldn't use it for actual storage purposes. So I hope this information helps and, you know, as I said, I will link a Wikipedia article for people who want to get a little bit more in-depth information on the safety factor.